Okay. Cool. Uh, I'm live. Good morning, everybody. Nobody's in here. Mandy's in there. No, she's not. Yes, she is. You're supposed to plug this in, Keith. I feel like I do most of my videos doing this. <laughs> Can you see me okay? Yeah. Okay. Can't see the pan. But you we'll see we'll me. tilt it down when we get doing stuff. We may have to turn that a little bit. I gotta be able to. My OCD is killing me. I can't see the computer screen. Mm -hmm. If I move it too far, it's okay. I'm come unplugged. I got to see. There's three people here. Y'all got to say something so I know who's here. Wave at me or something. There's uh, Jessica. Hello, sweet friend. Good morning. Look, I got dirt in a bowl. Oh, we didn't shut the bedroom door. Hold on. OCD. <laughs> I can't stand my door open. Squirrel. Bill from the Rock Homestead, welcome. Hello. Good morning. Oh, how are you guys doing this morning? We we like to have had problems this morning. Mm. Oh, can you go turn the You do what you can, Bill from the Rock. We understand the the bad weather thing. Oh so. my gosh. I don't know. I haven't even looked outside. We were supposed to get weather this morning too. Turn the uh, living room light on real quick. It is kind of dark in here. Dark. Yeah. We're going to adjust the camera here in a minute so y'all can see what's going on here. I don't know how much that actually helped, but okay. We'll let people get in here. We've got a lot going on in this morning. So I was going to let everybody kind of get in here and we'll get going. I've got multi basket facet, facet things. Can I speak English today? <laughs> you know, it's funny. I, I'm doing these live things now, and I can't edit. So y'all are going to hear uh, Misty and all her dyslexia, Gloria. Glory, see? All right. Good morning, guys. All right, Keith, let's... Uh, Tilt this down because my sausage is starting to rumble a little bit. Y'all forgive us as the camera is going to tilt a little bit. I better not look at the computer because that's just going to make it. Okay. Good morning, Miss Kendra. In my pan, I'm I'm just going to, I'm browning up some breakfast sausage. We're going to make breakfast burritos this morning, but we're also making elderberry syrup. Not in the same pan. I know y'all not do that. Um, I'm going to get this browning and then I'm going to show y'all real quick the uh, elderberry. In a stock pot, I have, and I'm using, this is not my recipe, I'm using Andrea's recipe from VW Family Farm. I just went and like sold her recipe because I've never made this before. I've got two cups. Of elderberry. I bought this um, Amazon. I put the link in the description. Um, it's my, you can use our affiliate link. So this is just two cups of elderberries here. You can put that over there so it doesn't spill out. There's enough uh, in the four sticks of cinnamon. I'm getting there. There's four sticks. Uh, Four cinnamon sticks, there's 24 cloves of garlic, and then no, my, it's not cloves of garlic. See, so you threw me off because you tried to interject yourself. Would you get my recipe so I don't tell these four people the wrong thing? When he helps, it just throws me off. I'm picking on him, guys. Okay, let me read this right. There's, I will shut up now. There's two cups of elderberry, four cinnamon sticks, 24 cloves of, uh, yeah, 24 cloves, whole cloves. I'm going to put 
a fourth of a cup of ginger in 16 cups of water in the stock pot, and we're going to get it cooking on the stove while my sausage is cooking. So hold on just a minute. I'll be right back. Be right back. I want to get a double burger. So I can do multiple things over there at once. Actually, Papa, if you will go put that gallon of water in for me over there and get that to uh, well, I would appreciate that. I have a sushi. Yes, 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 yes. You're going to make your husband hungry. I hope so. Good morning, Miss Kendra. You want to come say hi to everybody on the live? She said no. That means no, right? We were talking about your sign language thing. Huh? The whole gallon, yeah. Would you like a water? Yeah, give Dad just a minute and he can grab you one. See, I'm learning American Sign Language too. Some things I know, some things not so much. She informed me the other day, she very seldom ever actually cusses at me. I just take it the wrong way because I have no idea what she's actually saying. And some of them, I just use very, very incorrect with you. She's a pretty awesome kid. I give her a hard time. She's kind of smart up, smart Ellie like her mom. Sometimes I just use some that you know that it means sign. Well, so we all know she gets her smart out from me. Pretty much. So one of the reasons I like doing up breakfast burritos, I do big batches because you know, with Kendra in school, um, we have to get up pretty early in the mornings to run her to um, over to the woodlands, which it's not that far away, but we're making that trek five days a week to drop her off in her BFF um, to college class. And a lot of times it's rush out the door. And if we have these made up ahead of time, then I can wrap them up in parchment paper, throw them um, in a freezer bag, throw them in the freezer. And then all she has to do is grab them out of the freezer, pop them in the microwave and you know, head out the door. Hey, big dreams. Hey, big dreams. How you doing, sweet friend? So how, are, how is everybody doing this morning? While this is picking up, I'm going to continue to crack my eggs. No, hey, they simply Jan. Good morning. Hello. What's the temperature where you guys are at? I know there's a lot of people that are getting like blizzards and all kinds of crazy crap. It's stinking cold. And the cool thing about breakfast burritos, they are diversible. I mean, you put whatever you want on them or what you, or what you don't want on them. Kendra can't do um, a lot of cheese and stuff. You know that I sometimes put it. Right. Um, Papa and I love cheese, but I put some fermented onions and peppers on Kendra's mm. and a little bit on mine. Good morning, Mandy. I already told you good morning, but good morning again. <laughs> yeah, we've already kind of been marcoing. My camera didn't want to work right this morning. I had to. Uh, well, that's Reboot the computer the last minute, freaking out just a little bit. Let me do that other carton of eggs. Yeah, I borrowed two eggs. It's fine. I have a ton of eggs. They had them on sale at Aldi. Do you guys have an Aldi where you were at? I absolutely love that store. Okay. I know. I get ready to do videos. You the worst. I forget something. Like I said, I make a ton of these up ahead of time, and then they're there, and then I don't have to stress. Kendra doesn't have to stress, and she can eat these on the way to class. Anybody got any questions? Or y'all just watching me crack eggs? Hey, Pathway. 
Welcome. I appreciate y'all getting up and spending your Saturday morning with me. I don't even know what the temperature is here. Alexa, what's the temperature outside? Alexa's not plugged in. Oh, never mind. Alexa's not plugged in. I have to unplug her to plug <laughs> her computer in. <laughs> I guess I can, you can look on my phone. Can you beat those eggs for me? Does it say on the TV? I'm checking to see if I it. You didn't turn the elderberry on, Keith. No. <laughs> that would Shoot. help. Yeah, that would help. <laughs> oh, nothing like a live video, my huh, guys. Um, oh, thank you. You want some cream? Yes, I'm going to put some cream in it. Now, you don't have to put heavy cream in it. It just helps. Mm -hmm. You can, it, it's going to be fine. cook with milk and stuff all the time. That's the funny thing about it. I can cook with milk and and put butter and stuff and it doesn't bother her. It's just like something in cheese is raw. Yeah, it's the, the raw cheese and that kind of stuff seems to bother her. If anybody knows um, more about that, um, why, it is. why that is, let us know. Because, and it just started bothering her probably in the last Three or four years. You so it was when I was a baby. It, and it, um, like formula bothered her as a, a baby. I wasn't able to nurse. So uh, formula bothered her. And when I was little, I could handle it. And when she, but she was able to handle regular cow's milk when she was up until like three or four years ago. Um, she was able to drink regular milk. And I still pushed it. Yeah. And, and now I can't. At all, I uh, still push it here. There you go. Okay, so this one could be just a little bit more. This is pretty lean sausage, I don't have to drain it. So, what did you just knock off? Oh, there's a cloud between the chair. Oh. So I'm wondering if it's, you know, I've heard people talking about that A2 protein. I want to try goat's milk with her, but I don't know anybody locally that um, milks goats. And I, I'm hesitant to, like, buy, um, like, canned goat milk. So if anybody has any experience... Um, with any of that, let us know. Because all my friends, I have a friend who is lactose intolerant completely, where she can't eat any milk. And then I'm just pouring these eggs in the sausage. And the only thing she can have is almond milk. Yeah. So that's all I can get from anything I've looked into. Um, and then I am just, I'm going to salt mine. And I'm just use, using regular coaster salt. I am out of Himalayan salt, but I don't want to buy any more. I'm fixing to do an Azure Standard order, so I don't want to buy any more kind of staples until I make that order. So I'm just using regular coaster salt. Does anybody here use Azure Standard? I heard I hear um, Andrea uh, from BW Family Farm and a lot of them talk about it. So I'm trying to get a group um, at church. My grandson is allergic to goat milk. Work for him. Okay. If I can find someone 
Hey, Haskins family. Hey, Haskins. How are you doing, honey? Um, if I can find someone locally who milks goats and has milk goats, I would love to try it with her and see if um, it works better. Good morning, Miss Tina. I just want to tell you I want. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Uh, yeah, on my phone with a little grab, and I don't know why I thought you came on at 10 o'clock. <laughs> Chrissy! <laughs> <laughs> my, my Marco went off. Keith didn't turn it off. <laughs> Teach me not to turn the Marco off. I thought the internet church taught you. I know. My my Marco my Marco lovely people can uh um uh, Okay, no, it's not very much. I love you guys. I fixed it. Okay. My Marco, uh, I'm looking at my computer. My Marco friends. Well, okay. I can have a potty mouth at times. Y'all be good. Don't, don't <laughs> tell too many secrets on there. Um, but I opened my Marco one time. And if y'all know Jason from Big Bear, he, I opened it up in church one time. In the foyer. In the foyer. And I don't even remember what he said, but it wasn't church appropriate. We'll just put it that way. And I was like, oh, crap. And I'm freaking out. And I throw my phone at Kendra. No, wait. It wasn't him that said it. It was someone else. It was someone's responding to it. Yeah, it was somebody's responding to something that he said. And I was like, oh, my God. And I threw my phone at her. It's like, turn my phone off. And I was just laughing. Like, the whole she time. was laughing, rolling, laughing at her. Or laughing at me, and I'm just, I'm just like, never again will I open Marco Polo in church. Two weeks later, she does it again. Yeah, but at least you know. Yeah, and I, I, I love my Marco peeps. They are amazing. They are amazing group of people. If any of these people you see in blue, they are my Marco family. Go follow them. They amazing. They rock. They rock. <laughs> what are they saying? They're probably like, she's the worst one. Don't let her lie. Iron Liar, Pencil Fire. Anne Marie. <laughs> what are they saying? Oh, I like this one. Never again. Lasted two weeks. Hey, Chrissy at Long River. Thank you for coming in. And interrupting the live with your Marco. That was fun. <laughs> yeah, leave it to Chrissy. Oh, oh I, need to, I need to turn that up just a little bit. I'm I want to get me a, a two burger, <laughs> one of these. Maybe it's like you can shop through Mama's Amazon affiliate link, but it's too long to post on here. So, uh, yeah, well. Uh, you guys rock. Thank you, Mandy. I, I don't know what I would do without this group of people. Mandy okay, has what listened. What did they just say? <laughs> what are they saying? And Marie said she's laughing so hard. Welcome, D. Hope you're feeling better. Poor D, man. Send some prayers, uh, uh, good thoughts, if well wishes. Uh, she, she got the, the Marco crud. Bad. Bad. I the flu, the the whatever. It we we spread that thing like wildfire through the, the group. I was kind of one of the Chrissy, I think, had it first. Then I come down with it. Then uh Mandy come down with it. Big Bear come down with it. His fam whole family, Sherry and Daryl come down with it from two family homestead. Um who else who else had it? Um, Nathan never got it. 
Nathan, yeah, Nathan did too. Did he? Yeah, I don't think he had it as as bad as the rest of us, but he he and Johnny got it too, and it, it's just like I like to have killed all of us. Usually on a regular stove, guys, it doesn't take as long to cook this stuff, but this little single burner is kind of slow, so that's okay. We have an hour, right? And I am cooking a lot of eggs, so. Good. Glad you're feeling better, huh? Oh. Yeah, that, that makes me uh, feel a whole lot better. You, you looked pretty puny yesterday. And the thing about making this stuff up, <clears throat> and I, I continue to preach it and hope nobody ever gets tired of me saying it, it is always going to be a better option than going through a drive through and buying fast food. Because you just never know what you're getting you know, in a drive through And if you do it on a Saturday morning ahead of time, do what? Midnight, she lady and she's giving Anne Marie a hard time for, she said it's what, midnight there? Oh, yeah, right. I, and honestly, thank you for coming, Pathways. We, we appreciate it. Absolutely. Hey Marie, good grief. It, it's got to be early, my friend. Yeah, six, whatever there. Six, 20, six, 15. You know, just good for whatever to eat. Come on. Do what? These are good to eat whenever. And they are. I mean, we do breakfast for dinner a lot. <laughs> Especially if the, on the days that, you know, I, I'm in the office. Um, Come in, the last thing I want to do is, is cook. I or when I have like a major project do major product uh, product project finals. It's just something very quick, easy. Okay, these are I'm gonna turn the burner off. Now one of these days I'm going to would you just put that in the refrigerator? I like putting heavy cream in my coffee, very keto, which I am not on a strict keto diet. I am I'm a kind of a high protein diet. Put those gloves on so you can get this burner out of the way. Uh, you're not going to walk behind that camera for me, are you? Not after last time. She has not forgiven me for uh, not editing that out of the video. But it was funny, wasn't it? It was. It was. At least if you're going to not part. edit something out, at least say that you're not going to edit it out. Don't say you're going to. I thought we had learned this after 18 years. Exactly. I thought you had learned that after 18 years. All right. To be straightforward with me. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and go. Straightforward with your daughter who has Asperger's. Uh, she has no sense of humor. That's what she's trying to say, folks. Uh, I understand that sign language. All right. And I just have store bought tortillas. So one of these days I will make my own. I've tried to make tortillas and I kind of stink at it. They, <laughs> they come out that thick and not fluffy. Yeah, they didn't turn out real well. Okay. I want to show you all this. Give me a spoon. These are by my good friend, Michael Turner. Can y'all see me in the camera? I know, I'm sorry. One of these days I'll have a better setup. Um, they are jalapeno and onions. They're fermented. Um, and they are so good. I've showed it before. He's trying to start a business doing this. They are absolutely amazing. Kendra loves this on everything. Oh, Mom, what? Someone say get a tortilla press. It makes it perfect. I, yeah, I, and I will. I need a bigger spoon for 
Yeah. Kendra doesn't like cheese on hers. And sometimes, like, if I'm cooking these on the stove, I will put it in a pan and warm this up. But And that sometimes helps. But just because I'm, I'm not doing that for this, I'll just put a little bit of that, and then I will take this. I need a, a bag out. One of the gallon bags. Do you want one now? And that's usually how that works. Do you want one now, Papa? I can make you one now. For his, I just put cheese on it. You want peppers? No. Pops. You want more peppers? Tinder wants more peppers. There you go. All right, you're going to have to move. Are you watching the chat for me? Okay, go ahead. And a lot of times uh, we'll put them in the microwave to melt the cheese. All right. Now I'll show you what I do to save them. So you want a little bit more pepper than what I put on it? Mm -hmm. okay. And then to save it, I just wrap it up in the, the parchment paper. And then I've got freezer bags. <coughs> I think that's a better idea than what we working. And then just Thank you for coming, Haskins. Thank you, Haskins. I appreciate it. And then I just fill it up and set it in the freezer. And then we'll just take them out as we need them. Good morning, Food Forest. Hey, Food Forest. How you doing, my friend? TNF, thank you for coming. So we're just making elderberry syrup over there. I need to turn it. Food Forest at Mama Z's. How's it going on? I'm up for adoption. <laughs> you know, my mother, and she still does it to this day, would get up every single morning and make breakfast. She'd either make these burritos or she would make biscuits. Or she, still does for daddy. she still does for daddy. Eggs. And, your grandma. and my grandmother. Eggs every single morning. If I can, if I can do stuff in advance, that's what I do. Um, God bless her. When we were when we were there, she's like, okay, what does everybody want for breakfast? And I'm like, coffee. <laughs> Exactly. But you, you don't have to overstress it, Mama. I love you, but it's okay. But you know, my my poor daddy wouldn't know what to do if he didn't have breakfast every single morning or I mean, I eventually eat something, but usually I have to uh, wake up and drink some coffee and and that kind of stuff first. Yeah, that would be a big advantage, TNS. What's that? He said we do breakfast burritos just about every morning. One advantage of having chickens. Absolutely, and I am I'm looking forward to that.
you know, somebody made the comment the other day, Timmy, well, why would you want um, chickens? You can go to the store and buy, I, I paid a, a dollar, a dollar nine for a dozen mm -hmm. eggs. Then you have to buy feed and you have to do this. You, well, one for the, the quality, you know, because you know what you you're feeding. Without the peppers? Yes. Were they a little warm? No, I just want options. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I can do that. Um, and you can put salsa and stuff like that too. Um, I mean, just regular salsa. And that was good. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, and just the joy of freaking chickens. You know, I just oh. love chickens. Oh, my best friend told me to text this to her the other day. She does not need a therapy cat, which is where our cat is. He is literally, she got a doctor to sign off saying he was a therapy cat. She needs a therapy chicken. I need a therapy chicken. That's right. I do not know if there's a vest out there. I don't think they would allow us to have a chicken in here. Yeah, they probably wouldn't let me have a chicken. <laughs> You need to go up there and ask. No. Yes. I I don't want a chicken in the the apartment. That's a little much. Chickens I there. probably can't turn into a litter box. I don't know. Maybe you could, but that would probably be a little much. All right, I need another bag to put some more cheese in it so we don't get them mixed up with hers. Uh, or at least the non cheese ones. They may eat out the cheese one every once in a while. Ah. <laughs> Throw eggs. Is this one going here? Yes. You save me one out because I'm going to eat one huh. after we're done. Yeah. <laughs> that needs to simmer for someone. <clears throat> cover. Uh -huh. Someone put, uh, can't do just one chicken. They need a flock. Yes, absolutely. Mom, mom they need a whole mess of ten. I uh, do. You know, I, I keep seeing the deal that says um, if God wants me to have Ten chickens, forty it is. It's this one. It was this one. Hey, wicked chicken. Hey, wicked chicken. How are you, my friend? Somebody, asked, or I guess my friend Roy asked me yesterday. He's like, "How many chickens can you have on fifteen acres?" And I said, i Yeah, you probably could." Have a thousand if I really wanted them, but I don't want that many chickens. <laughs> he no. just looked at me like, <laughs> No, I don't want a thousand chickens. What are you doing, Peter? Oh, I lost, I lost the parchment over there. Uh, season. Good grief, Kendra. <laughs> Nothing like live video. Can't edit that out, can I? Oh, we're real around here, my friends. I haven't had coffee. Apparently. There's coffee over here, but you have to come get it. She's she's siding to me again, friends. Good morning, morning, morning. This is the one time you understand. Hey, Morris, how are you, my friend? What's our count up to? Uh, Three. 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 That elderberry over there is smelling amazing. Um, I'm going to want the smaller tacos because I want to mix some of those up. Mm 
Now I'm not going to step off. The tortilla. I didn't want that. So I'll take this. Yeah. No, that's fine. I'm sorry. So the question is posed: What would y'all like to see next week? I can do. I need to replenish my beans. Uh, I know I've done uh, regular beans, dry soap beans, but I'm thinking, or just dry beans, I'm thinking of making up some beans and like cooking them, then uh, canning them. And I'm wanting to do some um, Hawaiian sandwiches. So, what would y'all um, prefer to see next week? Uh, Kendra's like, oh, totally do the sandwiches. <laughs> so, what do y'all think? Can can the uh, read responses over here, Papa? It's okay. Ah, I don't know why I'm handing that to you. See what see whatever the consensus is. Mm -hmm. Or we could can chili. She's signing, and I have no idea what she's saying. You had a you knew a moment ago because I saw your immediate response. Good dream too. Sandwiches, sandwiches. Naturally, and see sandwiches. Okay. All right. Well, I'll get the stuff and we'll do those sandwiches. That's lunch. Right. <laughs> and those are those are real easy to do. I do them a little bit different than um, how you see all over Pinterest. They're kind of the same concept, but the way I do them up, um, you can, you don't make the whole thing uh, literally at once where you can't save them. And so, all right. Well, that'll, that's what will be on for next week. Um, why don't we uh give me a chair, Keith? And Grace said she wants canned beans too. Okay, well, we'll definitely be doing those too. So, Jessica says, Can you chili? I wonder if there's a way to make a full on me there. There is, but you had to have a thousand subs, and yeah. <laughs> so. Oh, okay. You want to just set this over here? I I think I've I've rolled about as many as I'm gonna roll. Uh, hand me actually hand me one of those bowls, and I'll just I'm just gonna. No 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 the uh, the lid. Uh, 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 yeah, the, you're the only one that can reach that. Okay, so when we got this apartment, they gave us a, a handicap apartment, which uh, still doesn't make sense. Uh, we have no idea why. No, I do. They have shelving units that. Okay, let me finish telling that. It's we don't know why we got the handicap unit, except that's just what they gave us, right? We have no shelves on the bottom, um, but the cabinets are ridiculous. He's six three. He's the only one. And of, I can barely reach that. Kind he, of he barely can. I know that's the fashionable thing to have these high cabinets. To me, is completely ludicrous. I'm just saving the rest of these eggs because they'll get eaten probably for dinner. Or something. Or something. So, um, did you pick it? Okay. I'm gonna. Call I'm gonna sit down here. You can turn that chat, and we're just gonna visit. But here's my thing. If this is a handicapped unit, why do they have extremely tall cabinets? And there's no handicapped parking out front. <laughs> I'm Morris. Morris Patch. Okay, can you move this? Let me see the chat and then you can move this pan out of my face. And I'm, I'll try. Just, yeah, just turn it a little bit. So. 
And I'll move up so I can see. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. Yes, we just got done making breakfast burritos. I've got some elderberry syrup cooking over there. Let me tell you about the elderberry syrup I'm doing real quick. I am going to can that. Um, no, I know my camera's up there. Forgive me for looking down, guys. Um, Amory said, you can't talk unless we see you on camera. because that's <laughs> So come say hi. She's, she said no. That means no, guys. Um, she's in her PJs. So that's the reason. But, okay, um, I'll try to look at the camera. On the elderberry syrup, I am cooking this up to, um, I'm going to can it so I'm not putting the honey in it. Because I'm going to process it, and I don't want to lose the benefit of the uh, honey. And gosh, it smells so good in here. By the way, guys, what? Every smell. Okay, you're going to have to quit talking. I love you, but <laughs> stop talking or just go on, please. <laughs> and um, we're. Uh, I'm going to be. I'm going to court it, put it in quart jars, and. <laughs> Then I'm just going to water bath, preserve it. Um, and that way I'll just add the honey to it when we, when I need it. Um, so anyway, that's what I'm going to, I'm just going to do it that way. Anyway. <laughs> and Marie says she's in her uh, PJs too. So, so right. Yeah. So is Papa. He's in his PJs too. Yeah, I've just got egg grease all over. But you go to the store and that. I don't. Not my sweater. Look at your cat. He's under the table. Lucky is under the table playing with that piece of parchment paper that fell. No, he's not. <clears throat> I I need to get me a tortilla press, and I probably could go like to um, Goodwill or somewhere. You know, one of these. We have some good resale shops. Hello, Lucky. How are you, son? Uh, he is so entertained. I have these big buttons um, that I I tossed down to him. He'll battle them around. He's can be very entertaining. Um, that I'm gonna, I need to go try to find one. I'm about decided that I'm going to rent. Oh, and it's 70 degrees. Oh, it's 70 degrees. It's 70 degrees here. The front hadn't come through here yet. It's supposed to get a little bit cooler, I think. I, if I wasn't doing this live, I would still be in my PJs. I guarantee you. Wouldn't be up yet. <laughs> so starting next week, um, after my live, I will be starting some uh, cooking classes up at our church. My friend that makes this amazing um, ferment, um, he is doing a cooking class. And the first thing he's starting with is we're going to be making a uh, homemade mozzarella and he's going to be doing soaps and uh, all kinds of stuff. His class name is back backsliders. No way named it that, but I think it's really cool. And I'm really excited all the stuff that he's going to be doing. So, um, and it's, he's only, the class is like $5 a class and, and we're going to be doing all kinds of stuff. He he very much um, believes like uh, we do, you know, in the homesteading community. His wife is a physical therapist, a doctor of physical therapy, um, and they've been extremely supportive of me and my journey and my my weight loss journey and um, getting back to um, you know what's in our food. I've shared with them our uh, take back 
your food initiative and they're just completely on board. So uh, everything that I learn, um, I'm going to be sharing with them, you know, and, and come back and share with you guys. So I'm really excited. Um, so be prepared, you know, that we're probably going to be doing some cheese making and things like that too on the, these lives. So I'm really excited. I know a lot of y'all already probably do cheese making and stuff, but um, I haven't. I haven't ever made cheese. So I am super stoked about that. What you doing with me? Yep, yeah, I made fermented um, cucumbers and onions. So we, I could show that one day too. We could do a batch of those, especially. Oh, guess what? I ordered and it should be in here soon. I'm so excited. The cucumelons. Papa had never heard of cucumelons, which, okay, who had, all right, maybe I'm just, <laughs> I'm behind the times, but I had never heard of cucumelons until uh, Jess from Roots and Refuge grew them, and she talked about them, so I'd never heard of a cucumelon in my life until she talked about them on her videos, so I ordered me some cucumelons, and I'm going to try to grow them. I got permission from my uh, apartment complex to put up some either some chicken wire or like a, he called it a goat panel, but I'm thinking he's talking about like a, some, a cow panel type thing out here um, to keep the dogs and kids, kids. And, and that kind of stuff out of my garden that I'm going to, my grow bags and stuff. So um, first of the month or when I get some extra money, I'm going to be putting that out, which I have a little bit of time. You know, I've got my starts going over here. Um, so I'm really excited about that. So that'll be coming. Um, we're supposed to be getting rain all all day today. I think yeah, I have Yeah, fifty percent chance. I haven't looked at the radar yet to see where it's at. Oh, you know, okay, let me ask y'all a question because you know, friends that grow elderberry, I don't know if somebody told me this or I read it somewhere or I dreamed it up that elderberries won't grow in humid climates. Is that truth or did I dream that? Um, because I'd love to have some elderberry. Of course, I live in an apartment, so probably wouldn't grow in a grow bag anyway, but um, I can't remember if our, <laughs> my friend, what, I, what are you doing, Steve? <laughs> I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> oh my gosh um i i've been thinking about getting like an elder and sending it to my fo folks in north texas because i think they're kind of similar climate to like andrea at vw family farms and i know she grows elderberry and see if she can't see if my mom papa can't yeah see if they yeah, and see if they can't grow, which is where our farm's at, and see if they can't get an elderberry bush to grow. Yeah, see, that's what I'm thinking too, uh, Mandy. It probably wouldn't do me any good to try to start it. And honestly, it's 20 bucks makes two batches of the elderberry. 
and that'll make one batch will make me four quarts or two quarts. One batch will make two quarts when all is said and done. Yeah, y'all have a very similar climate to what we have here in Houston or north of Houston. If I'm if I'm thinking right, uh, D. Uh, you know, um, Jessica, I I loved Ohio when I was there in the summer, but dang, I could not do those winters. <laughs> Northern California is really pretty. I've been there uh, a couple of times. I, uh, back before my daughter was born, I decided that I was going to go drive a truck. <laughs> that lasted about six months, but it was fun. I mean, I saw a lot of country that I would have never got to see otherwise. But my first uh, trip out with my lead driver, I drove Dahmer's Pass. <laughs> Yeah, that was an adventure. <laughs> so, um, guys, it says that I have 14 folks in here and I've got eight thumbs up. Would y'all mind smashing that thumbs up for me? I would really appreciate it. It just helps me on the, the big alpha rhythm with YouTube. Bye, Chrissy. Thank you, my sweet friend, for coming in. I sure appreciate this. Next week, we'll make the sandwiches. I am going to uh, do more of the beans, and we're going to do chili and... D, I'm glad you are feeling better. Um, I appreciate you guys getting up, showing up. It means the world to me, and it certainly um, helps me. I am almost to 400. Well, uh, that's one thing I want to uh, touch on real quick, and I'll look at the camera and stop looking at my computer for a minute. When I hit 500, um, I am going to be doing some major giveaways, and um, so I am close. I mean, I am less than 10 people away from 400 and I'm, I'm growing at a, at a good pace. So when I hit 500, we're going to be doing some big giveaways. So I just wanted to thank all of you for your support and showing up um, and helping us. Uh, this has been really kind of a trying week for uh, Keith as we had shared in our Wednesday night live. Um, they have, you know, put Keith's mom in hospice. He's going to go with his brother tomorrow to see her. So uh, we appreciate, you know, any uh, good thoughts and, and prayers. So thank you so much guys for um, showing up. We're going to be wrapping this up soon. So thank you again. Um, Remember our, our live on Wednesday night at 6.30, and um, we'll be continuing to put videos out. I'm going to be showing some more garden stuff this week, and um, we got more videos coming out, coming out this week, next coming week. So anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and shut this down, um, but let you get on with your Saturdays. Thank you guys so much. Um, love you guys. God bless. Oh, babe, my mouth. <laughs>